In this video, we're going to create a VR environment like this. So it's like a VR 360 degree video experience. To do this, we're going to create a dynamic skybox with the help of our video materials. Let's get started building this. I'm going to create a new Vision OS app, call it whatever you want. Just set immersive space none for now, we'll define it manually. And I'll click next and let's get started. In this app, we just want to start straight into the immersive environment. We don't want this window. So we're just going to delete this content view, move to trash. And at the starting point of the app, the window that's shown initially, the one you just saw in the preview, we're going to remove that. Now, instead of the window for the starting point, what we want is an immersive view, right? Immersive space. And this will have an ID of immersive view. In here, we'll display the immersive view. Now, if you remember from the previous videos, if you want to show an immersive space as the default starting space, we need to go to the info P list, go to the application manifest, and change this guy here, the default scene session role, from a window to an immersive space. That's how you make sure an immersive space is shown by default, not a window. And here we're going to display an immersive view, which we'll design. So let's design the immersive view now. We're going to name it exactly immersive view. This is the view that we present in the immersive space. This immersive view is where we're going to show our dynamic skybox. And to achieve the skybox, again, like we did in the previous videos, we're going to create a large sphere but this time, instead of mapping a static texture image onto the large sphere, we're going to map a video material. And a video material is something that comes with Reality Kit that lets you play videos as materials on surfaces. So that way we can get a dynamic skybox. So let's do that now. So for the immersive view, I'm going to have a reality view as usual, content in. And in here, we're going to create a skybox, which will have a video material in it instead of a static material and then add the skybox to the content. Now to create that dynamic skybox, I'm going to create a separate function. This should return an entity, which we can add to the reality view content. We need to import reality kit for this. So make sure you import reality kit. Here we're not returning anything yet because we have not done the logic for this yet. So let's write the logic for creating the dynamic skybox. So first, as usual, we'll have a mesh, which is a large sphere. And then instead of a static material, we'll have a video material. And then with this material and the mesh, we'll create an entity and return it. So first for the mesh, as usual, let's call the skybox mesh. And this would be a large sphere. So mesh resource generates sphere and the radius make it really large, 1000. Now for the material, like before, we're not going to create a simple static material. Instead, we want to use Reality Kit's video material features to play a dynamic video onto that large sphere. That way, when the user looks around, he sees the video playing and it gives the illusion of a dynamic skybox. And these videos need to be 360 degree videos, not just 2D videos. Now to create the video material, I'm going to create a separate function. And this should return a video material, a material that supports animated texture. That's exactly what we want. Let's make this optional. First, we get access to a video via URL. And then we create an AV player and we create the video material with the AV player and then return the video material. So let's first grab a video. So for that, I'm going to go to the internet. I went to pixels and make sure you filter by 360 degrees videos. So this gives you 360 degree videos. And I'm going to choose, let's say this one. You can see it's a 360 video, right? It's a beach. When I look around, I can get a 360 view of the things. So I'm going to download it. It's free. And then just copy that to a folder that you can recognize. I'm going to do it in the project folder in this case. I'm going to name this beach. Now, if I go back to Xcode, what I can do is I can import this video into the project. I do that by right clicking and then add files to project. And then I'm going to choose this beach video that I have and I click add. And now I got the beach video imported here. So now you can see from Xcode it's working fine. Great, so now we got the video imported into Xcode. I'm gonna go back to the immersive view. Inside the create video material function, I'm gonna get a URL to this view. Guard let URL because it's an optional and bundle dot URL for resource with extension. So the resource is named beach. So make sure the name is correct. And the extension, it's an MP4 file, right? So the file named beach with an extension MP4 get the URL for that. That's what we're doing here. And if the URL does not exist, we say print error loading video, and then we return. Great. So now we got a URL that's pointing to the video that we imported here. 
Next, we're gonna create an instance of an AV player. For this, we need to import the AV Foundation framework. This is the framework used for audio, video processing and iOS. Now we're gonna create an instance of an AV player. So let AV player equals AV player. And you initialize it with the URL that we have just created before. So pass that URL in here. So this will create an AV player with this video. Now with this AV player, we can finally create a video material. Let video material equals video material. So we click that and pass in the AV player that we just created. Now finally, we want to play the video by default, right? So we're gonna click AV player dot play. Now the video material is ready. So let's return the video material. Great, so that's the create video material function done. Now we're going to go back to the create dynamic skybox function. This is the bit where we are creating the dynamic skybox before adding it to the reality view here. So back in the create dynamic skybox function, we got the skybox mesh. And now let's create the video material using the function that we just have below. So create video material, and that returns a video material. Obviously this is an optional, so we need to unwrap that. So guard let video material, and if it does not exist, we return nil. Great, so that's the skybox mesh, the large sphere, and the video material ready. Now let's create an entity out of these two. So this time let's create an entity a different way. So we're gonna call this skybox entity, and we're gonna create a model entity. So all we need to do is give it the mesh and the material for the model component within. This is essentially a subclass of entity. So we're gonna create a model entity with the mesh, which is the skybox mesh. And the material this time is not a static material, but the video material that we just created. So that's the skybox entity created. Now let's return that entity, return skybox entity. Now this is the dynamic skybox entity, which has the video playing by default. So that way you get the illusion of being in a beach. Now let's go back to our reality view and display this skybox, right? So here we're gonna let dynamic skybox equals create dynamic skybox using the function that we just have here. And because this is an optional, again, we need to unwrap it, guard let, and if it does not exist, just return. So that's the dynamic skybox. And now let's add that to the content. So content add dynamic skybox. That's it. So that's the immersive view, which has a reality view with the dynamic skybox added to the content. As always, we forgot to do one thing. So over here, the skybox has the video material playing on the outer surface of the sphere, but we wanna map it to the inner surface of the sphere because the user is placed inside the sphere. So when the user looks around, he sees the inner surface, right? So you want this material to be mapped into the inner surface of the sphere. So for that, as usual, we do skybox entity dot scale and we init that and we construct a vector and we multiply the current scale with a vector where the x value is inverted. The rest remains the same. This is how you map the material to the inner surface of the sphere. Awesome. So now if you play and run, we should be able to see this working. Awesome, if you look around, it's working. It's a dynamic skybox. You can see the water moving. The user is inside a large sphere and into the inner surface of the sphere, we apply a video material. And a video material is a type of material where you can play videos on. In this case, it's a 360 degree video mapped onto the entire sphere. That way we get the illusion of a dynamic skybox. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it.